Green Tunic Gaming! Yeah! Welcome back to Green Tunic Red Caps, where we place all of our babies in red caps for your consumer consumption. Are we just gonna name the show after what we're wearing? So can I be blue jeans, green sweaters after dark? Because it's nighttime. Blue jeans, green sweater? Oh, gray sweater. Damn it, Sean! I uh, fucked it. It's okay, I've got red, white, striped, sweat, pants, ghost shirt. I, the ghost shirt's pretty cool. It's kind of like a Lucas shirt. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you got your little headphones there. I see you, mister. The melody of the Lilliput steps. What the fuck is a Lilliput? You know, that's a darn good question. If only we had the sum combination of all of mankind's knowledge in literally the palm of our hands. Oh, hey, it's my dad. <laughs> hey, so, uh, forgot it was your birthday, yeah, sure. but I left some money in your bank account. There you go, champ. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah. Call more often. <laughs> yeah, sorry I couldn't make it to your piano recital. Um, things came <laughs> up with Karen. Uh, she's on the rag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this might take a while, but I left some casserole in the fridge. Love you. Bye. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> damn it. I really wanted to try to sneak past those guys. That's okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Can that just be like a recurring character of ours? Neg like, neglectful nest dad? <laughs> He's like well intentioned, but just never there. <laughs> yeah. He's never around for the most important part. Exactly. <laughs> It's like, hey, sorry, Mr. Graduation. Um, toilet overflowed at the apartment. Uh, Karen's on the rag again. <laughs> he just, oh my god! It's just like Karen's perpetually on the rag, Dad. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. Oh, good. All right. Reminds me of your mother when I met her. You know, before the obesity. <laughs> before she left me. Yeah. Before she let herself go. And I let myself go. Look at that happy bear. And then I let you go. <laughs> yeah, it's real hard. Damn. Dude, this neglectful nest dad got a bit dark for my taste. Yeah, he's actually making me a little depressed right now. <laughs> Won't even lie. But it's a good role model of what the fuck not to be. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. Nest dad's freaking rolling in paper, man. You see him? Like, That's fair. I mean, you know, if money he can, in that it, bank account. He might not be able to be there for all of your things, but he sure as hell can put you through college. Right? And freaking, you know, love doesn't pay for a master's degree, I'll tell you what, man. You know, you call up the University of California system, they're like, oh, hey, you have $30,000? You're like, no, but my mom loves me, you know, and then just click. Done. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, man. Oh my god. Neglectful <laughs> nest dad. Cool guy. <laughs> he's like, he's like more of a friend than like a dad, you know? <laughs> friend with a lot of money, sure. Right. He's like the dad that's like, hey, I'm, I'm like drunk at- Are trees at, afraid of us now? Ugh. Oh, I uh, thought they were, and then he turned around and dude, decided these, to- These trees are fucking me. renegades, man. Does that tree look like it has any fear? That, dude, that look, tree feels no man. He looks at us and he's just like, <laughs> oh, God, Dude, how can time. you win against a man with nothing to lose? <laughs> All right. What was the line from a song I heard recently? Um, man with nothing good left to fight for can still live when he's got something to die for. No, no, no. Fuck, this is gonna bother me. Well, I'm gonna save that one in my little nursery rhyme book. I'm gonna so run away from this fight because I don't want to fight these guys. I couldn't win though. Um, with nothing to lose. I, I mean, you pulled it out. Sometimes you gotta do that. Just kind of sing the song, you know? Like, it's like the opening line, too. It's just, uh, they're only doing, like, one in seven damage. I just wanna find the girl! Sorry, dogs! Alright, sometimes I like to see if I still remember, like, you know, lyrics to certain songs, like... Oh, you know, do I still know all the lyrics to R. Kelly's, you know, remix to Ignition, you know? Do you? I mean, yeah, you know, it's usually how I'm doing this, but let's go ahead and break them off a little previews of remix. Now I'm not trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you, the way you do the things do. Mommy, my Lex is cool, 
That's why I'm all up in your grill, trying to get you to my hotel. You must be a football coach, the way you got me playing the field. So give me that toot toot, let me get that beep beep. Running her hands through my fro, bouncing on twenty fours, as they say on the radio. It's the remix to Ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Is it all of it? That that's the first verse. I I know the whole thing. Like, fucking remix to Ignition was like my jam in sixth grade. R. Kelly's the freaking Pied Piper of R and B, man. You look at you look legitimately happy singing that. By the way, <laughs> no, that song was like, shit. Man, is he gonna go the full way? I do. I, I was going all hope so. the way with freaking. I was, I was, I was ready for it. They were ready for I it. I mean, usually I don't do that, but I just like to break them off with a little preview of a remix, and mm. then I'm not trying to be rude. You know, uh, but, da, da, da. but you know, R. Kelly, I'm feeling you. The way you do things. Leave me alone. Sorry. I don't I want to fuck with that tree. Yeah, that was intense, man. I, dude, <laughs> look, like man. you're passing a kidney stone or something. That's <laughs> 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 so, so shit. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, a lot of the time you don't even have to do that anymore these days. They've got uh, ultrasounds. They can they can break it up with yeah. sonic waves and stuff. I, I gotta say, my favorite thing about microscopes is that almost everything looks more badass under a microscope. Yeah. Fucking kidney stone looks like the most metal fucking shit I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it, it's like the, it's so fucking edgy. Like, ah, right? yeah. what you did there, right? I see okay. it. All right. All right, Mr. Clever Dick. Yeah. Fucking strawberries, strawberries under a microscope. I don't know if I've ever seen a strawberry under a microscope. I probably have. Dude, Bev, but... pull up a picture of a strawberry under a microscope for us. They're fucking terrifying. Hold on, let me, let me pull up a picture. They're like disgusting. Really? Yeah, it, they actually gross me out. Strawberry oh. under microscope. Oh, you know what we should just. Oh, look at these! Oh ah! my god. They're disgusting! Oh my god. Right? Look! Oh! Oh! oh you know what that oh. reminds me of? It fucking reminds me of Lavos from Chrono Trigger. Oh, it sets off my fucking tryptophobia. Oh! Ugh! Ugh! Okay. Oh, Putting man. it away. Putting it away. Oh, dude, that reminds you of bot flies. Dude, bot flies. That's what we need. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, we were supposed to make the bot fly game. I know, <laughs> man. It never happened. Bev was like, no. It's like, come on, Bev. It's like, we're we'll just make have it. fun here with bot flies. But no. Oh, man. Ugh, I'm still like, dope. Got a teddy bear. Tripping out from those damn strawberries, man. Oh, yeah, yeah teddy bear. Dude, teddy what does Teddy Bear do? He like dies for you? Yeah, dog. Of course. Enemies have to uh, attack the teddy bear first before anything else. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty great actually. Like, we'll be using teddy bears throughout almost the entire game. Do they like respawn or is there a finite amount? Or? Uh, you just gotta buy them from the shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No. Alright, so now we're gonna go for the Blue Man's group. Because if you remember from the last episode, before I decided to instead. Uh, freeing them, go take out my anger and aggression on a caved mole. Right. Uh, we watched our concert, and now we're gonna go free them of the tyranny that is this manager. Hey. Dude, it's fucking Groucho Marx over there, come on. Yeah. Mm. Unless we decide to pay off your debt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, guess what? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna pay off your debt. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Why do we keep calling them the Blue Man Group? They're definitely the Did Blues I call them the Blue Man Group again? <laughs> yeah. Fuck! They're definitely the Blues Brothers. Fuck! We called them the Blues Brothers also in the last episode. <laughs> and then we were watching the last episode Yeah, the Blue today. Man Group. We were yeah, and I was just like, oh yeah, the Blue Man Group, man. Dude, fucking those guys, am I right? <laughs> this little nipper. Whoa! I don't, I don't know if I, like, Whoa, exactly man. appreciate that. Getting all racial up in here. We're getting racial ray. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave, man. <laughs> Why, why, why did they even put up with me? Oh, dude, yeah, we're gonna go to fucking Tucson now. Dude, I like Tucson. It, yes, we, we've been over this. Okay, so, what I didn't show you before was that there were ghosts in, like, the tunnel down below, and they chased you out, so you can't actually go to Tucson. Ah. Uh, but when we talked to this guy, oh, we're going to three, we're in Tucson. <laughs> of course, you yeah, yeah, silly Billy. Their tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother them. That's fucking sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna ride their, their bus now, uh, which is good, because this gives me some time to actually enjoy this fine porter yeah, from Five got, Threads Brewery. 
Yeah, nice plug. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they they have they, they have competitive prices and top notch products. Uh, yeah, sparkle, sparkle. Realistically, we just discovered there's a brewery down the street from us like a week ago. And we've gone like three times. Yeah, it's so good. It's pretty nice. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty nice. Dude, this tour bus is pretty sweet, by the way. Place your theme song while we're in it. Dude, freaking all black, man. It's baller. Right. So with the perp. Purple fucking straps for the suitcases. Dude, they know pimping. They know class and quality when they see it. So is this like in real time, like that one game where you actually drive from California to Las Vegas, and like <laughs> it literally takes the amount of time, and it's just you on a road, and occasionally there's like a car, and you have to change the lane. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oh, yeah, those are the ghosts. Look, they're chasing after us, but we don't care because we're in a very loud bus. Dude, those ghosts are like. So wait, 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 wait. I, we, got, we gotta go back. What game is this? Like, I can't remember what it's this? called, but it's like an actual game where you drive from Los Angeles to Las Vegas in a bus, and you're the bus driver, and you actually drive the distance. It, it takes the actual amount of time, and then you get there, and you drop the people off, and then you just drive back. And that's the entire game. And you can't pause. Wow. Yeah, it's nuts. Wow. I gotta look it up, but it's actually a thing. Wow. That is the only word I have for this. Alright, we need to save here now. We need to find the goddamn, not the trip. What? Uh, Jerk's first, okay. Um, because we need to buy stuff. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna need to go pull out, uh, what is that? Like 600. Damn, it's fucking like. 600, 600. It's like William Sonoma prices for this fucking cookware here. Holy <laughs> shit. Dude, William Sonoma makes some good shit, though. Uh, I can't attest to their quality, but I'm sure it is unsurpassed. <coughs> uh, dying. Anyways, yeah, okay, we need this bat. You know what that just reminded me of? When. When I graduated from middle school and I went to high school, uh -huh. um, I had terrible grades in middle school. Sure. And so when I got into high school for English class, you know, there's like English 1, English 2, yeah. and there's like English 101, which is like the dumber one. I wasn't even in English 101. I was in communication skills, which was literally for like special ed kids and foreign kids that didn't speak English. And like the the biggest delinquents, like the stupidest kids in school. So it was the first day of class, uh -huh. and we were filling out some fucking form or something. Uh -huh. And like for one part, and she's like, "For here, put N A." And she's like, "Does no anyone know what N A means?" And everyone's like, "No." And I'm just like, "Not applicable." And she's like, "What?" I was like, <laughs> "Not applicable." And so she, like, pulled me aside after class. She's like, all right, you're, like, way too smart to be here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So where did she put you then? Uh, then I just went you? to normal English, and they were just like, okay. yeah. Okay, so so also to your story here, which I take slight offense to. What? So I was in English, you know, 10, whatever, or English uh, 2, or yeah. what, what, the 10th grade one, all right? And I was super lazy, and I got, like, a C in the class. So then they put me in English 11s instead oh, of English 3. Yeah. The 101 one you were just yeah. talking about, you said a bit. That was <laughs> yeah. me. But again, in that class, like, you would know pretty much everybody in the class if we brought up names here. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, I'm sure I would know people. It was so bad. It's mind numbing. But, like, so I, I was in there, and, like, all the tasks and whatnot were, like, from, like, 7th and 8th grade English. And I'm like. Yeah. So I got a I got, I got a over a hundred percent in that class. It, it was great, yeah. um, but it was just like, oh my god! It, like the teacher knew that too, <laughs> and so, like during the class, well, actually, he knew why everyone was there. He did not give a fuck. He actually gave up like halfway through the class and was always just like, all right, here's all the assignments for the day and do all the work that's up on the board by the end uh -huh. of the class. I sat around with him and played Kotor. Nice. He was like, you don't, you don't do anything. <laughs> you're straight, dog. <laughs> you, you're fine. And I'm like, ah. Oh, Thanks! <laughs> well, maybe you can move up to English 3 in uh, the next episode of Green Tuna Gaming, buddy. I like to think I'm above that now, but sure, we'll go with that. But, you know, R. Kelly, I'm feeling you, the way you do things. Leave me alone!